Question 14. How is nanotech different from biotech? Answer. Based on the definition of nanotech given above, biotech can be thought of as a subset of nanotech. Nature's nanotechnology. Biotech uses the molecular structures, devices, and systems found in plants and animals to create new molecular products. Nanotech is more general, not being limited to existing natural structures, devices, and systems, and instead designing and building new, non-biological ones. These can be quite different, harder, stronger, tougher, and able to survive a dry or hot environment. Unlike biology, for example, nanotech products can be used to build an automobile or spacecraft. Question 15. Where is nanotechnology being developed? Answer. Research and development of nanotechnology is taking place worldwide. As this is written, government spending is at approximately 1 billion US dollars in each of four global areas. 1. The United States. 2. Europe. 3. Japan. And 4. The rest of the world, including China, Israel, Taiwan, Singapore, South Korea, and India. Similar amounts are said to be being spent in the private sector, with these figures being quite difficult to determine accurately due to the breadth of the nanotech definition, which includes a large number of older technologies. Question 16. Which country leads in nanotechnology? Answer. World leadership in nanotechnology varies according to which subcategory of technology is being examined. In general, nanotechnology is unlike a number of recent major technological innovations in that the US does not hold a very strong lead at the start. High quality work is taking place around the world, including countries with a higher fraction of engineering graduates, much lower R&D costs, and, unfortunately, less stringent environmental environmental standards. Question 17. What results can be expected in the near term, the midterm, the long term? Answer. Nanotech's development can usefully be divided into stages. For example, first generation, passive nanostructures, second generation, active nanostructures, third generation, three dimensional nanosystems with heterogeneous nano components, fourth generation, heterogeneous molecular nanosystems, where each molecule in the nanosystem has a specific structure and plays a different role. As the this is written, first generation products are commercially available, second generation work is taking place in the laboratory, and later generations are at the computational experiment and modeling stage. Question 18. Are there any safety or environmental issues with the nanotechnologies in use today? Answer. Concerns have been raised regarding potential health and environmental effects of the passive nanostructures termed nanoparticles. Regulatory agencies and standards bodies are beginning to look at these issues. Though significantly more funding for these efforts is required, Foresight is working with the International Council on Nanotechnology to address these concerns. Question 19. What is Foresight's role in nanotechnology? Answer. As the leading public interest organization in nanotechnology since its founding in 1986, Foresight seeks to promote beneficial nanotechnology. Foresight concerns itself with policy development and education on societal and ethical implications of nanotechnology, including both advancing positive applications and attempting to minimize potential downsides to the technology. Question 20. What is nanometer? Answer. A nanometer is 1 billionth of a meter. A meter is 39.37 inches, or slightly longer than 1 yard. The prefix nano means 1 billionth, or 10 to 9, in the International System for Units of Weights and Measures. The abbreviation for nanometer is NM. Question 21. What are non-materials? Do they exit in nature? Answer. The term nanomaterial refers to nanoscale materials, or materials that contain nanoscale structures internally or on their surfaces. These can include engineered or man-made nanometer scale objects such as nanoparticles, nanotubes, and nanofilms, as well as naturally occurring nanoparticles such as volcanic ash, sea spray, and smoke. Question 22. What are nanoparticles, nanotubes, and nanofilms? Answer. Depending on the shape, the application, or the components, nanomaterials may be called by a variety of different names, including nanoparticles, nanotubes, nanofilms, nanoshells, nanospheres, nanowires, nanoclays, nanoconcrete, nanopolymers, and much more. Other nanomaterials have distinct qualities that have led researchers to call them by other non-nano prefix names, such as quantum 
graphene dots or graphene. Generally speaking, nanomaterials are objects with one or more dimension at the nanoscale. Efforts to standardize these words are currently underway, for example, by the International Organization for Standardization. For more information, visit the standards page. Question 23. Are nanotechnology products available today? Answer. Yes. Nanotechnology is becoming ubiquitous in our daily lives and has found its way into many commercial products. For example, strong, lightweight materials for better fuel economy, targeted drug delivery for safer and more effective cancer treatments, clean, accessible drinking water around the world, super fast computers with vast amounts of storage, self cleaning surfaces, wearable health monitors, more efficient solar panels safer food through packaging and monitoring, regrowth of skin, bone, and nerve cells for better medical outcomes, smart windows that lighten or darken to conserve energy, and nanotechnology-enabled concrete that dries more quickly and has sensors to detect stress or corrosion at the nanoscale in roads, bridges, and buildings. By some estimates, revenue from the sale of nanotechnology-enabled products made in the United States has grown more than six-fold from 2009 through 2016 and is projected to exceed $500 billion in 2016. Question 24. What is the National Nanotechnology Coordination Office? Answer. The National Nanotechnology Coordination Office, NNCO, helps to coordinate the U.S. government's R&D efforts in nanotechnology, serves as the central point of contact for federal nanotechnology R&D activities, helps to foster the commercialization of nanotechnology, and provides public outreach on behalf of the National Nanotechnology Initiative. The NNCO also provides technical and administrative support to the Nanoscale Science, Engineering, and Technology NSET, Subcommittee of the National Science and Technology Council, which coordinates the NNI. For more information, see the NNCO section of this website. Question 25. How can I get funding for my research in nanotechnology? Answer. The National Nanotechnology Initiative itself is not a funding program. Funding is provided through the NNI member agencies. There are various mechanisms for funding research through these agencies. For detailed information on federal funding programs, see Funding Opportunities. For grant information, see Current Solicitations. See also the list of federal agency representatives to the NSET subcommittee who can help help members of the research community find the appropriate mechanisms to apply for competitive funding programs. Question 26. What are future workforce needs? Answer. Nanotechnology has the potential to create many new jobs across a variety of sectors. While some jobs will require an advanced degree, a 2014 study funded by the National Science Foundation points out that two-year and four-year training with access to continuing and technical education will be sufficient for many of the future positions in nanotechnology, non-manufacturing, and beyond.